Oh my god, is this our pizza? Holy smokes. Honestly, I thought it's gonna be like this size and it looks huge. I love this American style fluffy pizza. I don't know if I like it, but. Welcome back guys to another video. Today we are trying another fast food chain here in Indonesia. You recommended Pizza Hut, we try Pizza Hut. We are here in Bali in Kuta at Pizza Hut and we are super stoked to see how it will be to the original USA Pizza Hut. see due to COVID we are the only ones at Pizza Hut right now which is somehow great somehow kind of weird but the salad bar is actually closed and the mix for fun bar where you can mix your own frozen yogurt I guess is closed as well but you can still order the whole menu so that's what we are gonna do order a few things to try the Pizza Hut here in Indonesia and for sure we're gonna order the favorites the limo pizza which is a one meter long pizza with three different toppings we I believe it's this long actually it's probably this long yeah we're gonna see we're gonna take cheesy galore tuna milk and super supreme and what else we're gonna take Lara so we are going to take one appetizer the chicken royale then we're gonna take the mushroom soup and mm. also a dessert, the chocolate puff. Oh, and also a chocolate milkshake, yeah? Yeah, chocolate milkshake is the favorite one here. So we're gonna try that one. And, and of course, and rice dish, we have to. Yeah, we're gonna try the chicken omelette rice because rice has to be on the Indonesian menu. So we're gonna try that because we don't have rice in Germany or even in America on the menu of Pizza Hut, so we definitely have to try it here. Yeah. We saw someone said in the comments, if you haven't eaten rice, you haven't eaten at all. Is that true? Write it down in the comments, guys. Yes, two limo pizza. Toppingnya, double topping. Cheese colore, tuna red, then I'm so hot. It is trouble. Oh, yeah. How about this one? Yeah. We're gonna change seats because the AC is broken here. Mark is feeling hot. Yeah. Because of COVID, they don't have a lot of guests here or just takeaway. So they don't really have to like keep everything running in here. Pretty sad. I would love to try the salad bar. Any sambal, yeah? Yeah, chili sauce and sambal sauce. Okay. So our drinks arrived. We have one iced tea and we have a milkshake, a chocolate milkshake. Mark and I didn't drink milk for the last two months. So today is the first day we're drinking milk again. Very excited for that one. First time milk in a while, I have to say, it's worth it. I'm gonna try the mushroom soup now and I just looked it up and we paid 18,000 rupiah for the soup which is about 1 euro and 10 cents. So I'm gonna try it now. It's okay. It's a little bit spicy and a little bit watery. And there are pieces of mushroom inside of the soup. It's okay. I would give it 5 out of 10. Oh my god, is this our pizza? Holy smokes. Honestly, I thought it's gonna be like this size and 
it looks huge. I don't know if this is our pizza, but if it is, I don't know who's supposed to eat all of this. <laughs> Gonna have some for takeaway. It's a very big pizza, yeah? <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> One meter. Wow, One meter. okay. Okay. Big pizza. Makasi banyak. Chicken bites, yeah? Nice. Makasi banyak. And we got our last dish. We're complete, Lara. We can eat. It's a lot. All right, all our food arrived and we are blown away how big this pizza is. Actually, we thought it's just as big as this menu, but it's far bigger than it. You compare it? Holy moly. And then we got the finger bites or what was it? Chicken bites. We have the choco puffs. We have the omelette with chicken here. And rice. So I'm keen to try this, how a pizza place makes rice. We're gonna try the appetizer first because the appetizer always comes first. Take one. I'm gonna take the garlic bread because the rest is with chicken. Mm. It's good. I'm gonna try the rest of it as I do eat meat. Oh yummy. Look like chicken McDonald's chicken nuggets but as a stick. It's amazing. Chicken bites. Tastes exactly the same. Chicken nuggets. Then we have potato wedges. You want some too? Yeah. Mm. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Not a, not a strong seasoning. You have to know we are very hungry today because we didn't really eat anything yet. So probably we just took too much because we are super hungry. And we also want to review the place here. So we're gonna eat it all for sure. Don't worry. Hello. Next appetizer try please or dessert. I love chocolate. Okay. I think you I can imagine how this tastes. It tastes like a croissant with chocolate filling and it's really good. Not too much chocolate. Very good. Last but not least, before we start eating the one meter pizza, we need to try the rice with omelette and chicken. Because this is something you will get nowhere. Not in America, not in Germany. I haven't seen rice except at the Chinese place in Germany. So let's go. Okay, a lot of mayonnaise, a lot of ketchup. I like the combination, but it's not something very special. The sauce, the ketchup, and the mayonnaise that's the strongest taste in this dish. And it's not something I would totally recommend to you. There are better places to eat rice. Sweet food. We want to take a quick break to send a massive thank you to our friends at Surfshark for sponsoring today's episode. As world travelers, you might use Surfshark VPN to avoid location price discrimination on airplane tickets, on car rentals, by connecting to the right VPN server in different countries. The thing we love most about Surfshark is that with one subscription you can install and run Surfshark on unlimited number of devices at the same time. We run it on our phones, on our laptops and also on our tablet. Surfshark offers a 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.ds Lehman and enter the promo code Lehman for getting 83% off and three extra months for free. The link will be down in the description and now let's continue with the pizza tasting at Pizza Hut. It's 
so excited to finally try the pizza, which is why we are here. Very excited to try the pizza. Let's try the first piece, which will be the, I don't even know which one, the supreme one. Oh, I love fluffy pizza. I don't like Italian pizza, it's too crispy and too thin. I love this American style fluffy pizza. Tastes like American pizza hut. Really good, really good. Let's try the second pizza. I'm gonna try all three first and then Lara will try the other two. So let's go with tuna now. We have this little shovel to get the pizza out. But the tuna pizza has a very, very strong tuna taste. So if you like tuna, this pizza is for sure the pizza you should choose. And then last but not least, the cheese pizza. Mmm. Cheese with mozzarella. So good. Now it's Lara turn to try. I'm gonna start with the tuna. Mmm. Mmm. There's a lot of tuna on here. Also we have some corn and it's super creamy and I also love the pizza texture. It's not too hard and it's not too soft. So that is really good. Next I'm gonna try the cheese pizza. As you can see, we have some cheese sauce inside and also some harder cheese on the top of the sauce. So this is really interesting actually. I don't know if I like it, but it's interesting for sure. We did try everything that we ordered and now we're gonna give you some points so that you know what to order and what to not order. We haven't finished everything yet, but we're gonna take it take away and just share it with our roommates. For the pizza, I would say the mozzarella one was my least favorite. I would give it like a three or four out of 10. Then the tuna pizza was my favorite, I would say. It's a seven out of 10. And the other one, the Super Supreme pizza, I couldn't try because it has meat on it. For me, the Super Supreme was the best pizza. I would give it an 8 out of 10. The tuna, like a 6 out of 10. And the cheese one was my least favorite as well. It gets like a 4 out of 10. What about the finger bites? I just tried the garlic bread and the garlic bread was awesome. So that is a 9 out of 10. The chicken nuggets, sticks and bolts and potato wedges were also good. I can recommend. We didn't finish the mushroom soup because honestly it wasn't really good. In the beginning I said it was 5 out of 10 but I didn't try the other things back then. So if I'm gonna be honest right now it's like a 2 out of 10. The omelet chicken rice dish wasn't that good as well. I would give it a solid 6 out of 10. I think rice is better served in different places. The milkshake and also the iced tea were both awesome. So that is a 10 out of 10. And the chocolate pastries were great too. So awesome. 10 out of 10. This sauce is really good. This sauce is good too. The barbecue we didn't like. of the video and we will give you a final review of the Pizza Hut here in Indonesia. In our opinion, it is not different than the Pizza Hut in the USA or in Germany, all over the world. They cater pretty much the same, besides the rice. What do you think? I think I didn't enjoy Pizza Hut that much in America and also I didn't enjoy it that much in Indonesia as well. It's not my favorite fast food restaurant ever. I enjoy JCO for example way more. 
But if you know a different pizza place in Indonesia or even a different fast food chain that we should try, then please let us know down in the comments below because we're definitely gonna try it. That's the end, guys. Thank you for watching. Comment down below and we see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye. Okay, all our images arrived. <laughs> okay. It is really good actually. So the bread is soft, like toast bread. Toast bread. My favorite is... Oh wait! Don't tell him. As you can see, we have some 